tutorial, I'm going to show you how to link your list blocks to your list detail blocks. Let's take the Colive template example, which is available on the software template page. As you can see here, we've got a list of apartments that are available with some basic information about each apartment and then the ability to select that particular listing and then to find out more details in what we call the list details block. So I'm going to quickly show you how to connect the two together. So let's jump across to the studio. And we're going to start from scratch. So first of all, we want to make sure we've got two pages. We've got our list page and our list details page. You can call them whatever you like. I'm going to add my first block and it's just a basic list block. You can select any block that suits your needs. I'm going to select this one. Oh, so let's configure our list block. All we need to do is first select the actual base. Once the base has been selected from your table, we also want to select the table itself. In my case, I'm going to select the apartment. So let's skip past this and jump straight into adding some detail to each of the blocks or the listings. So first of all, we're going to select the image. I'm going to scroll down and find the image. We could add maybe a title here. And then we're going to add a little bit more detail about the number of rooms. And potentially we could add in the cost. There we go. So we've got a basic page all set up here. And the last thing we want to do is to be able to connect the list details or the list blocks here into the actual details is by simply going down to the on click action and currently it's set as default to do nothing we want to change that to open a page when clicked and then we need to tell software where to send the user in this case we want to send the user to the list details page so like that and that should be all set up now you can get it to open in a new tab. In this example, we're going to have it open in the same page. Now to quickly test that out, we can jump up to the preview, select that button, and it'll open the preview mode before you actually have to publish it. As you can see, when the mouse goes over the actual listing itself, the cursor changes, indicating that this is clickable. So it's working. And let's click it to test. And that's working great. It's taken us to the blank page because we've not set it up yet. So let's go back and set that up. So we jump across to the pages in the left hand nav bar. And let's select the list details page. From here, we want to add a list details page. Let's add the this block here with a big nice image. And again, we just need to tell uh, software the air table base we want to use. And again, also the table. So we can select a header here, add in some brief text, update the gallery, and we can add a tag. And then we can add in the description. Great, we've got it all set up now. So again, let's jump back and test this is working. So we'll click back to the very initial list block. Let's click preview. And we can see the listing. Let's click on the listing. And it takes us to that exact list details page. That's it.